Hello Stampers! Jackie Ball Heist from Clomp and Stampers. I have a great project to share with you today. It's five simple note cards, but the best part is you can bundle it up super cute to give as a gift. Now, if you follow me, you know I don't like to use a ton of supplies on projects. You know, I, I don't believe that if you see an idea I share that you should have to go out and spend hundreds of dollars to buy everything. So when I created this project, I kind of took a, a selection of products and I'll show those to you in a second and I made all five cards with just these few project products and bundled it together as a gift so it's just well, I'm going to give you a little peek here here's our little gift of five note cards and I'm going to show them all to you and the best part is I have a free tutorial for you I took all my gift cards I wrote it up in a tutorial so over on my website you're going to be able to download the pdf tutorial that will give you all the supplies all the measurements everything so if you'd like to make up some little gift packets like this it'll be super simple for you to do and it's some great super simple stamping but I think the cards look cute so let's flip this camera down so I can show them to you and show you the, the selection of products I use for them. Oh, and before I do that, just a quick reminder, if you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and would like a catalog, hop over to my website as well. You can request a catalog there. And if you like today's project and you want to buy the products to make it, I so appreciate it when you select me to be your demonstrator and order through my online store. You know, it's you guys that order from me that really help me to bring you all of these videos and all these fun stamping projects. So I truly appreciate your business. So again, that online store, you're going to find the link to that over on the blog post. And I know you're all going to the blog post because you want the free tutorial. So it's all over there. Okay, that's enough. Let's get to our project. Like I said, I tried to kind of get just an assortment of products. So if you had all of this stuff, you can make a bunch of these gifts up. So let's look at what we've got here. The star of our show is that tasteful textures or tasteful touches stamp set. I love the images, the words, everything about the stamp set. I did share some other projects with it a little while ago, and in the blog, I'll link you back to those projects as well just to give you more ideas with it. Now, you can bundle it with the coordinating dies. You remember, when you bundle, you save 10%, but these dies work really good with a lot of these images, but they're also kind of becoming one of my go-to set of dies just for other greetings and images because they're all these, I like to call them labels, but different labels shapes. So that's our bundle. Now our note cards are made with note cards and envelopes. These come in a package of 20. So I put five in my gifts. So with one package of note cards, you could actually make four gifts. And then we've got the rhinestones. I think these are champagne rhinestones. Just to add a little bling. We have our little small balloon punch. Now I know a lot of you have this because it was actually a celebration item, but now it's in the catalog. So if you don't have it, you can pick it up. Great little flower punch. And then I did use four colors. So I used Mossy Meadow, Night and Navy, Early Espresso, and Basic Gray. If you didn't have all these colors, you really could just use one of them or substitute other colors. And then, well, of course, we have to have linen thread. You always have that. And then I think kind of the second star of the show, we'll call it, is our designer series paper. This is the In Good Taste designer series paper. And you can see all the different sides of all the different prints on this great neutral paper. So those are the products. Now let's look at what we made. I'm actually not going to stamp these for you today because the stamping is so simple, but we're going to open up our little gift and I'm going to show you all five cards inside, outside and envelope. And then again, you can grab the tutorial if you'd like. So I just made a little belly band here of a piece of my designer series paper. It's just wrapped around and adhered, tied a bow around it. And then these are just the six by eight cello bags. So super simple. They come in a pack of, I don't know, like 20 or something. Great for all different things to put in them. And then I have these flips so that they would lay nice in there. So what I'd like to do is just go through the cards and show them to you. Um, like I said, note cards and envelopes. So with most of them, I think, I just cut a piece of the designer series paper that fits on the front of it, added a little bit of linen thread. Now note that I wrapped that linen thread around two times, tied it in a bow, and I did that before I adhered the designer series paper to the card. And then we just stamped on a scrap piece of Whisper White, cut it out with one of those label dies, punched out a flower, popped it up with dimensionals. Actually, both are with dimensionals. And there's a little rhinestone. Now remember, huh, there should always be something on the inside. Huh, 
fooled myself there. I think most of these I do. I think with this one, I decided just saying hello, it really didn't warrant anything in the inside because I just want to write a note in it. So envelope. Okay, sometimes I'll stamp on them and you'll see here as we go through. But the other thing I like to do is just add some of that coordinating designer series paper onto the flap of the envelope. So there's the first card. And then let's take a second one here. Now this time I stamped on the flap. So I just opened it up and stamped just saying hello on there. And then this card is done very similar where there's that linen thread wrapped around tied in a bow. But I stamped on my designer series paper before I adhered it down and put our label on top of it. So that's something we don't really think to do very often is stamping on that paper, but keeps it simple. There is our greeting. And then on this one, I did go ahead and stamp on the inside. So you can see here where I use three different greetings. All from, These are all the stamps from that same stamp set, but they all work so nice together. So there is the second card for part of our little gift. So number three here, again, we've got designer series paper on the envelope. Here's our same thing, linen thread on there. Almost all of these are pretty much kind of the same design. Different greeting, different label. Pop three flowers up with dimensionals and our rhinestone. And again, I left that one blank because I wanted it just as a note card. And here is the next one. So for this one, I stamped on the front of our envelope. There's our feather. Now remember with these dies, you don't get like ones that cut out the images. It's more designed as different labels and so forth. So feather was super simple to cut with the scissors. Just a partial piece of designer series paper there. A couple feathers stamped below it, paper on top. There's our feather. And then in the inside again, another one of the words and a couple feathers. So there's the fourth, and then number five, there's, you know, the designer series paper. Now what's so fun is just look at all the different prints. You could really make all of these cards with almost any of the different prints, and they'd look completely different. So here I just stamped a flower and then cut out with the label die, stamped another flower, fussy cut that with my scissors, popped it up with dimensionals, a couple rhinestones, and then my greeting, I just stamped and I cut with just a, just into a rectangle, not one of the dies. And then on the inside too, we stamped a little bit. So there we go. We have five cards and all I did was stack them up. And one of these, the one that said, you are the best, what I did is I actually took this and split it like so, so they kind of stack nicer. And so when I slid it down in the envelope, you could still see the you are the best with our little belly band around it. Now really, if you didn't want to put it in the cello bags, you probably could just as easy take this belly band and wrap it around your cards as well to make a gift. But I just thought that makes a great gift, which is five little note cards, give them to a friend, someone at church, whoever, um, neighbor's great neighbor gift. But um, I love this this little project, so I wanted to share it with you. I'm making up a whole bunch of these for some friends. And again, I the stamp set is one of my favorites. So again, hop over to my website. I know I didn't do any stamping today, but I don't think I really needed to share the stamping part of these. I wanted to show you the note cards more, and I will have that free tutorial for you. It looks something like this. Mine's printed in black and white, but it takes each card, gives you the measurements and the directions so that you can make these. I even put pictures of the insides on the ones that I did stamp the insides so that you can make these up if you'd like to. And remember, you can order on the website as well if you'd like to order any of these products. I completely appreciate you being allowing me to be your Stampin' Up! demonstrator. So as always, if you have questions, reach out to me um, and I'll be back again real soon with another fun, quick and easy stamping project. Have a stamp happy day.